So about an hour and a half ago, we rented a scooter. We drove it to Atua Beach. We decided the walk is way too far down there. It's gonna kill most of the day. This is our sweet ass scooter. Um, it's taken forever for us to get the GoPro out. And now the reason we're getting it out is because we just took a spill right here. Some loose rocks, uh, the brakes locked up. Sam now has a giant cut in her knee. I have a matching one, mine's not as bad. Uh, but yeah, so kind of ruined our scooter experience by bad driving. Uh, Sam was skeptical about hell wearing helmets and I'm so glad that we did now. <laughs> I tried to tell her that... Our helmets definitely hit the ground, mine did. It's exactly why you wear a helmet. But these are, I mean, as you can see here, they're not regular roads. We've had to take them down some dirt roads. We did okay. We took them real slow. We were taking this real slow, but locked up the brakes and just nothing but loose gravel here and couldn't prevent it from, from falling. But now we're going to head back and see if we can go uh, have Sam's knee taken a look at. These are some of the roads we're riding on that definitely need a little bit of work here. We're not going to go much further because it's another terrible road, but this place is called Teletubby Hills. Um, that is the actual name of it. So last night after much deliberation, uh, Sam decided to go to the hospital and get stitches. She got three stitches in her knee and um, cost about, I think, $30. When we came home, we watched a movie and then we just got up about two hours ago and now we got breakfast. Now we're getting ready to check out uh, this hotel is 10 a.m. which is kind of early but we're going to check out and then our fast boat back to Bali is at uh, 3 p.m. so we'll head back over to Bali from Nusa Penida. So Sam and I spent the morning on a scooter ride mission looking for Nusa Penita shirts. Uh, we were unsuccessful, but now we are on a beach here, basically just killing time until our fast boat leaves at uh, 3, but it's only 12.30 so I don't really know what we're going to do for the next few hours, but after we do leave here we are headed back to Bali to our new Airbnb in Shanggu. Sonora. We took our fast boat. We're now waiting at the port area um, for our Gojek, which is like a not American version of Uber. Uh, same concept though, but so we got here. Sam's knee is still busted up and all the boats, they back up to the shore. Uh, but not just about, enough. yeah, not far enough, especially for Sam because she has midget legs like me. So I had my backpack, this little purse backpack, Sam was wearing hers and then I just picked her up from the front, carried her like a little baby. Now we're just waiting for our Gojek, which says they'll be here in seven minutes, which was up from five minutes, three minutes ago. So now being back in Bali feels so weird to us because there is 
multiple lanes of traffic, which for the last four days um, we have not seen. There's also stop lights, which are not on Mesa Benita. Um, kind of throws us off too, but it's funny too because we were riding the scooter earlier and we were walking and uh, everything seems weird not being like, well it, it is also obviously driving the left hand side here, but we're thinking about going home now and it just seems weird to be driving on the right hand side. Yeah, it, it's really weird because I mean we haven't been here that long, it's been a week or so and uh, it just feels weird to be on the right hand side just thinking about that. Just, it seems natural to be on the left hand side now, it's kind of funny. So that was an hour and 10 minutes of a Uber rider. It's Gojek, but um, whatever you want to call it, it is Gojek. But an hour and 10 minutes on Gojek, and it costs us only $7. I don't know how, like, how you could possibly make any money. That's seven dollars with a tip too. It would have been only, I think, five fifty total. So we gave a dollar fifty tip, but it's just insane. Okay, guys, little update here. We have no whisper because we booked a villa. It said whole villa, but then we got here and realized it is a whole villa, but you're only getting the guest house part of the villa. It's just So we share basically a villa with somebody. We can hear him sneezing between the walls. It's kind of annoying. Um, he owns it, which is fine. Um, but the entire time we anticipated having this place to ourselves because it looked really cool. But we, we're not even going to take play or take advantage of the common places because we don't want to share. So we are on Airbnb's website right now. Um, trying to book somewhere else and we're just gonna say fuck it and miss out on our money from this booking but 